We're asked to determine the equation of the ellipsoid from the graph. The equation of an ellipsoid is shown below, where A is half the length of the axis along the x-axis, B is half the length of the axis along the y-axis, and C is half the length of the axis along the z-axis. The key to building this equation is to take a look at two of the three traces. And we can do this graphically by looking down on the corresponding plane. So let's first take a look at a dynamic graph of the ellipsoid. So here we see the graph of the ellipsoid. Let's first take a look at the xy trace. To do this, we look down on the xy plane. Notice how the xy trace is an ellipse where the axis along the x-axis has a length of four units, and therefore a is equal to two. The length of the axis along the y-axis is eight, and therefore b is equal to four. And now let's take a look at the yz trace. Notice the yz trace is also an ellipse where the axis along the y-axis is still eight, and therefore b is equal to four, and the axis along the z-axis is 10, and therefore c is equal to five. Let's use this information to build the equation for the ellipsoid. So again, looking at the xy trace, we have an ellipse where the axis along the x-axis is four units, and therefore a is equal to two, since a is half the length of the axis. And the axis along the y-axis is eight units, and therefore b, half the length of the axis is four. Which means the equation for the ellipse in the xy plane is equal to x squared divided by two squared plus y squared divided by four squared is equal to one. And now let's take a look at the yz trace. Notice how the axis along the y-axis is still eight units, and therefore b is still equal to four. But notice how the axis along the z-axis is 10 units, and therefore c is equal to five. So the equation of the ellipse for the yz trace is y squared divided by four squared plus z squared divided by five squared is equal to one. So now putting the pieces together, the equation of the ellipsoid is x squared divided by two squared or x squared divided by four plus y squared divided by four squared or y squared divided by 16 plus z squared divided by five squared or z squared divided by 25 equals one. So notice how to find the xy trace we set z equal to zero. If z is equal to zero, we do have the equation for the xy trace. To find the yz trace, we set x equal to zero. If we set x equal to zero, we do have the equation for the yz trace. And therefore, this is the equation for the three-dimensional ellipsoid. I hope you found this helpful.